Hello, welcome to Shootout. I'm Adam Peacock, showcasing my inability to age yet again in a non-threatening shirt. Today on the couch, we've got Bozza to make some incoherent noises, and alongside him is some old-school jaded footballer with dated philosophies. Welcome, John Cosmina. Why do coaches want to pass the ball along the deck? Often the ball gets to the strikers quicker. Also, why do homosexuals exist? What's the go with that? Now we cross to Sarah Jelly to read us the most inane shit she could find on Twitter. Hello, it's Sarah Jelly here, struggling with consonants and vowels. Look at all these tweet, 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 tweet. Look at this tweet, I'm gonna put this tweet on TV. Now here's some polite hand gestures from Adam. Good work as always, Sarah. Let's now cut back to the ground where a presenter who spent the entire game refreshing his phone for the latest NRL scores completely wing an interview with a footballer disenchanted with life itself. So tell us, what went wrong for you today? Uh... And on that, the goals. Why didn't she score the goals? Uh... And what did the coach say to you at half time? Uh... Thanks for the interview. Now we cut back to the studio and try to milk 10 minutes of banter out of a game that produced only 4 seconds of highlights. Buzzer, can you give us your weekly outlandish statement that undermines you as a respectable commentator? I think Jason Hoffman should be in the Socceroos! Thanks Buzzer as always. Now here's a bunch of Heineken and Hungry Jack commercials tailored for our demographic because only fat miserable cunts would want to sit around and watch people talk about sport. Now we welcome a guest who will stutter and slur as though English is his second language but apparently has been speaking it the entirety of his life. Brendan Sandalab, what do you think of your season so far? We, we, uh, well, we, we, uh, we, we, uh, we done good. Here's some more rehash banner from the beginning of the show as we desperately try to pad out the show's lack of content. And now it's time for Bozza's team in a week that was definitely not whipped together by a producer five minutes before air. Uh, yep, he had a good game. Him, yep, he had a good game too. Yep, this, this bike had a good game, that's for sure, I definitely know that. And don't forget the really uncomfortable camera angle for that segment, and throw in some unnecessary CGI in the mix as well. Now we cross to our UK correspondent to hold up some newspapers. Hello, what's in the newspapers? What's in the newspapers? What's in the newspapers? Now some more Heineken commercials. Remember to drink responsibly as you drown your sorrows reminiscing on your past failings, pitiful life, and inevitable death. Well folks, that's all we got time for. Let's end with a mooted zoom out of the set while we unconvincingly try to pass off some light-hearted banter between us that will hopefully disguise the fact that neither of us can stand being within a seven mile radius of one another. See you next week.